in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with your first Big Blue Bottle meeting. So by the time you've joined your room, you'll see this window coming up. So this window asks you if you how would you like to join the session? Would you like to all to turn on your microphone or would you like to just listen? So if you're the teacher I suggest you go straight for the microphone option. So by the time I click microphone there's going to be another window coming up over here. So this is an audio test that will get go through all the necessary steps before you actually have your microphone working. And the first part of the test is that you speak a few words and if you can hear yourself from the speakers that means your headset is working perfectly so you don't have to do anything else you just click yes and you're ready to go however if you're having a problem you can not actually hear yourself then you would like to click no and then it would ask for permission from you whether you would like to in to activate your camera and your microphone so you would like to click allow here and after that you'll see I've got a list of options here so I can select the different microphones that I might have got installed on my computer so if you got multiple microphones installed you would like to choose the one you would prefer to use with big blue button so for this one I'll choose my desktop microphone my Microsoft Life comes as you can see here there is a blue bar that indicates how loud my voice is and uh, you can actually adjust that using that bar over here as you can see while I'm moving towards 100 it gets louder and louder if I move towards 0 it gets quieter and quieter so you would like to go somewhere in the middle and make sure the bar just maximum of it goes to the to the middle of the bar like the blue the blue bar reaches the middle of the bar so if you're happy with that then you would like to click next and again you'll see the audio test and you will have to speak a few words and now if you can hear yourself you will click yes so as you can see here at the top left corner we have four different options I'm going to show you the three of them I'm not going to show you the screen sharing with option because it's a little bit more uh, challenging a little bit it needs more time so I will make a video just for that one so I'm going to talk about the other three options though so that one is the stop sharing your microphone option so it might be that you don't wanna you don't want to share your microphone anymore or you're having a problem with your microphone and in that case if you stop sharing it and you s start sharing it again it will go you will go through the microphone testing again so in case you have a problem you you might want to click the stop sharing and then start sharing again so that you start the audio test again the the next one is the share your webcam option so if you see here I got a narrow an arrow that gives me more options so here it shows the different cams you have installed in your computer so I've only got one my live cam and so I will select this one and by the time you select your camera you will see oh, that it says here opening webcam and normally here it would show my what my webcam shows but I for this video I've turned it off so that it doesn't show my face anyway so but as you can see here you can select the different webcams again if you got many if you got a few installed in your computer and again you can choose the quality of the video that is being showed so if you got a low a slow connection or your students are experiencing some lag you would like to go for the low quality uh, if you feel like your connection is fast enough and your students haven't got any problems with it, 
you would like to go for the high quality option. I'll just go, I'll prefer going with a medium one because the, the quality of the video is okay and it doesn't slow down my connection at all. So normally, if my connection was up and working, it will so it, the star sharing button will be available for me to choose and when I would click here my webcam would show it up here and everyone could see what I'm showing with my webcam last option I would like to talk about is the mute yourself option so it's quite normal that in platforms like this and when many people quite a, when a few people are logged in into the platform it might get a little bit noisy so if you haven't got anything else to say you might want to mute yourself so that the rest of the group doesn't hear any of the background noise that is being produced and it's being transferred through your mic so if I click mute you'll see here next to my name that my mic has been muted so if there were many people here you could actually see the difference between my mic and the other people's mics if they were on. So that's the last thing I wanted to talk about. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye bye.